trying to do my best to teach the kids here, learn your game, you know, and then learn how to be a team player. If you were playing as former NFL running back among green in a video game, you'd pass up the juke and spin moves and concentrate your thumbs on the hit stick. That is what you call power running. As a football player, I say I was a blunt object, and that was my mindset. I'm going to hit you first, and I'm going to hit you often. Just be ready for it. If you were going to come tackle me, you were going to have problems. I loved Amon Green. He was just so physical. I mean, anytime you have a back who is that stout when they get going downhill, people bounce off of him. Powerful, finishes every run, uh, good leader, very positive. Green retired in 2009 as the Packers' all-time leading rusher. And like many before him, he made the jump from player to coach. But the gridiron was no longer his office. Green went virtual. Mon Green is the esports coach at Lakeland University. Esports? E do you know what esports are? Hmm? Are you serious right now? So run that back again. What does that do? Is this crew? What are, what are, we, what are we doing? Um, Electronic video games? So does he put them through like thumb calisthenics? Thumb war? I gotta check this out. Alex, mark this down. We gotta check into this. My love of gaming started when I was five. My dad brought the first Apple II PC home. So I turned it on. From that moment, I was like, okay, I like this. This is pretty cool. And then once I got here in Green Bay, that's when gaming for me it was starting to get more serious. When it was a time for me to game, I took full advantage of it. By week or off day, most of the guys go golfing. I was gaming. I don't mind golfing, but they do that, I go do this. Yep, I consider myself an athlete who games. Green was content spending his post-playing days gaming and coaching high school football when his friend from Lakeland University approached him with an interesting opportunity. November 2019, he said, I got the perfect job for you. I just found out that they're building out an esports program. They got a budget for it. And also they, they wanted me to ask you about coaching football too. And I'm like, all right. I'm like, yes, I <laughs> book it. At first, it was asking me to do both. And I was like, let me think about that side of it, because I'm thinking that, OK, this is the first year of the program. Football is more established than esports is, and I might have to have more time there. And if you got a 50-50, make sure you don't miss it. Make sure you get it. Once I laid all the information, it was an easy decision. Just stick with esports and, and put my time and effort towards that. It's very flattering to know that he chose esports over football. Esports was looked at in a bad light, so knowing that such an influential figure sees potential in all of us is really inspiring. I knew nothing about Amon Green. To me, he's just my coach, but it's cooler for me to say my coach is an NFL player. <laughs> what, what character do you use? What character do I use? I know Winston is like a scientist, right? Yeah, I knew he played for the Packers. My parents knew more than I did, but if I didn't know he played football, I wouldn't think he played football, you know? He just knows the lingo. He knows a lot about gaming, and he's really, really into it. Make sure you get it, whoever goes up. Make sure you get sure you get that 50-50, because if you miss it, that's not good. While the verbiage may be different, Green's experience of being coached is now helping him be a coach. My college coach was Tom Osborne. He wasn't too rah-rah, but if you listen to the words he was using about preparing to play and getting us ready to play mentally and physically, that's how I try to do my best here. Because I could see what the similarities were, the competitiveness and then the discipline and all that that was in sports from an athlete point of view. It's the same thing as an esports player. Y'all can play and listen. Y'all gamers, that will, that's what we do. Good go there. I dedicated myself to football, and that meant everything about football. And I'm doing my, trying to do my best here to teach the kids here, learn your game, you know, and then learn how to be a team player and learn how to be coachable because that's only going to make you better because how, that's how I got better. If you're okay with the practice side of it, then I'm okay with the practice. As long as you're okay. The Lakeland University eSports team consists of 35 students playing 15 games, competing with over 100 colleges across the country, all under the watchful eye of Amon Green. 
taking from things that he knew in football and trying to make them work here. I think he's kind of molded his own coaching style and his own way of doing things in an esports field. For traditional sports, being in a weight room helped your game. And so I tried to find a way to relate it to the esports, but not obviously at a high level. We're not building out linebackers and tight ends, but we're still building athletes on a level that they got to use hand-eye coordination, think fast, and they got to have an endurance about them. Despite the obvious differences between traditional and esports, the similarities are more numerous than you'd think. There you go. Competition. That's the number one thing because all the same little values and things you learn, how to get better at the game, that's where it relates to football. Green right side of the end zone. Touchdown! Come on, Green's a special player. He, he, really, he really is something. Whatever you do to get good at that, you got to do the same thing to get good at gaming. You got to practice it. You got to learn the mechanics. And then you got to do it daily. If you're defending in to go, make sure you get there. Don't just say, go, I'm going to go and get back. Don't make sure you get back there. Having already conquered a career in traditional sports, Green is now leaving his mark in the virtual world. I'd say he's following his passion. I know football was his passion in his life for a long time, but video games is right up there with it. And I think that's pretty cool that we have him here to be able to really grow this program. When I have kids here, I'm trying to develop them so they could be a well-rounded human being. I want great people along with the great players. As long as I can develop well-rounded human beings, then I'm gonna be, for myself, a success.